Hello everyone, I'm Neha Agrawal and I'm here to share about a new approach to testing, test infrastructure as a service. At CrowdStrike, we have a cloud native architecture with hundreds of microservices and they are all based off of Go modules. These services talk to each other using APIs, messaging protocols, protobufs, etc. There is a rapid deployment cycle and it needs that we run all the integrated tests in the CI CD pipelines. So there was a legacy approach to testing. We had a Python-based CLI framework. But what were the issues with, these, uh, with this legacy framework? Over a period of time, the size grew and it became like a single repository for all the test cases and all the services together. It was now completely sustained by SDET team and with any compliance issues needed, uh, it was getting expensive to maintain it. It was also an anti-pattern when we consider testing scenarios which are needed for Kafka-based tests because there is no longer a sustained connectivity since the tests are run on CLI. Due to these issues, we came up with a new approach which is test as a service. This concept was brought about and developed by one of our engineers uh, in our company, Ehsan Faruqi. He came up with this library, which is now an exportable Go module, which can be imported by the product Go module itself. So now a single Go module will house all the applications related to the domain and also a test application, which can be deployed in all the production clouds that we want. So there is a code generator in this library that can create the prototype and the structure needed for the test suit and some test cases with the config files. So it's very easy to start where one can quickly ramp up and start writing integration tests in the same source code repo as the service and build on the dependencies that are needed. So what is the advantage that we are leveraging out of this? This test as a service now gives us a way of running the test either on the command line if we are trying to quickly test a bug fix while the devs are running uh, their newer code locally or we can now even execute the test as a service using the endpoints. The test can now be run on demand or we can also put them through a cron job so that we can monitor it across uh, different periods of time. This has really helped us write test cases where we need sustained connectivity for Kafka consumer-based tests, which was not possible earlier. The other another advantage that we get here is now we can leverage the same infrastructure that's available for the product microservices in order to export all the metrics and also build up of dashboards and alerting mechanisms because now it's already implied and present for us using the existing architecture that we have. So let's go to one of the uh, examples where I have used uh, this approach to test a new feature. Uh, so this was a requirement, a new feature service was, was introduced in this fabric where it had integrations with Kafka, backend data store and UI. So it was very seamless to add all the dependencies needed in the new test service and create the dummy events and test very close to the libraries which are already exported by the test service. The test service has exposed using the library some of these endpoints. So it's very easy to go and exercise these get and post endpoints to either create a new scheduler for a cron or run tests using the executor endpoints on demand. We can also use the get endpoints to see what are the test cases already exported by the test service. And the queries endpoint will help us get the results of the schedulers or the on the fly tests. Once the tests are run, the metrics are exported and we can build Grafana dashboards. It's it's easy to monitor the results of the test cases across different timelines and across different clouds. Also measuring what was the time taken for each of the tests. So if there is certain flakiness in certain amount of high traffic time, it's easy to monitor all those scenarios. 
seamlessly. What's coming up next? There are some of the enhancements that you want to add, and we are working on it, is running these tests on PR. So even if, uh, even before the code gets the main, into the main branch, we can try and figure out failures before that. A recent ad uh, advancement that was added was support for table-driven tests and regex matching, similar to what we have in uh, the PyTest suite support. So if you have any questions related to this approach, feel free to stop by our booth and uh, I hope you enjoyed the talk.